Hello YouTubers, Beer Geeks and Beer Hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. So we got one here from Modern Times Beer. It's called Water Ski Fight. And um, it is... Let's see. It has uh, Citra Galaxy Hops and Two Row Malt. I'm looking for the ABV right now. Um... 6% alcohol by volume. It's a vegan beer, Vagin Vegan. They're from uh, San Diego, California. And it was canned on 7-14-22, so it's super fresh. Three weeks old. Picked up six pack of this. Uh, total one or more for like, I don't know, 13 bucks. And um, that's what the can looks like. I've never had this before, so never even seen it. First time. Some literature there if you want to pause it. Okay. Alright. I think it's 12 ounce can. Let's see. For some reason it seems a little smaller. 12 ounce, yeah. Okay. Alright, it's a West Coast style. Let's handle it. I like modern times. Uh, beer, they they do make some nice beer, for sure. All right, a little aggressive there, but oh well. Water ski fight. All right, so it's a clear, light, just a, like a light amber color, kind of or yellow. Looks like regular beer, very clear. Thick, frothy, creamy, silky head. Real thick and tight looking, looks good. Okay, it's only 6%, 6 so I'm not expecting too much here, you know. Let's check out the aroma. I'm not getting much at all really on the aroma. A little bit of pine maybe. Or a little bit of earthy. Just very light though. Might be because the head's so thick though. I'm just going to take a hit. Cheers. Okay. Hmm. Getting some pine. Yeah, light, kind of like nice pine, but kind of light. Slight, a little earthiness in there. But it's very well made, definitely. It's pretty tasty for a six percenter. Pine, piney earthy. Not bad. It's got a medium kind of light mouth feel. Very easy to drink, refreshing, crisp. No booziness at all. Nice, nice beer. So I'm gonna sip on it for a while, let it warm up, see if I can pinpoint some notes, and I shall be back. Alrighty, I'm back. This beer is decent. I mean, it's a Westie. Um, earthy, some pine. It's a nice balance of that. Not really getting much else, though. A tinge of tobacco. It's kind of funny. I read the can. <laughs> it says uh, we stuffed this West Coast IPA with a thunderous avalanche of Citra and Galaxy hops, yielding a vibrant melange of stone fruit. 
Nope. Tangerines. Nope. Grapefruit. Nope. Pineapple. Nope. With subtle floral, no. That really ties the whole shebang up with delicious bow, no. It's good, it's delicious, but all those notes are funny. There's no way I, there's not that, those are not in there. I'm getting pine and freaking some earthiness and some tobacco. Mm hmm It's about what it boils down to me. Maybe I'm different, I don't know. But uh, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, on a scale of one to five star, two and a half B and C average. I'm going to give this a 3.7. It's decent. It's a decent beer. Would I buy it again? Probably not. <clears throat> not much going on. Um, but it is a well-made beer, but just not enough going on for me to go buy another six-pack. But, you know, 3.7 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the vid. Like, like subscribe, you know, the deal with the bell. And uh, have a great day, morning, night, wherever you're at. Cheers. Later.